the uh, main attraction, if you will. Looks like there was definitely a fire here. Well, we picked our pain. Are we crazy for doing this portage? Perhaps. That first bridge is kind of sketchy. It's like a piece of clothing on there. Socks, shirt, underwear. Nothing else? No, no bodies? How'd you sleep in your zero degree sleeping bag? Pretty good. Did my two pounds? So. Got it. You can make them moist again if you put enough butter on. <laughs> worth it. It doesn't look like weather. It looks like just low-level clouds. That's my bet. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, the dark skies are still on their way. But uh, we're leaving camp. We're going. Uh, we're going somewhere that's quite popular in the summer, and we're gonna see if it's it's not busy today because of the cooler temperatures. Um, and how we're gonna get there is the other way out of Cork Lake. So the portage that uh, that is extremely long. It's two and a quarter kilometers. And then we're into Length Lake. Uh, then we head into a 345, and then a 770 into St. Andrews. And then we gotta do a 45, and then we paddle all the way over to High Falls. And we're just gonna stay there for maybe an hour or two, go swimming, that kind of thing. And yeah. A 90 pound canoe requires a warm up. Are we crazy for doing this portage? Perhaps. Just go straight uphill after this. We're gonna kind of do a uh, buddy system. When he is uh, tired, he'll put the canoe down. We'll switch. He takes the pack and the paddles, and then we keep on moving forward. And then vice versa. When I'm done, put it down. Keep going. That way, there's no downtime. It's like a piece of clothing over there. Somebody suck? No. That's before October 2020. It's from this summer. Okay, that doesn't belong out here. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> or class of 91, that means much older. Yeah. Nothing else? No, no bodies? <laughs> well, it's my turn. I'm guessing around halfway through. Another kilometer to go, plus a bit. It's been a pretty good trail. Absolutely no bugs. Looks like we made it to Length Lake. It might be a bit of a trek to get down and through there and all the way over. It looks like we missed the turn off. It's actually here. It's kind of sketchy. Wasn't too bad. Nice lake too. Looks pretty long in length. It's fishing time. If I'm not in the 
mistaken, this is the site that uh, Karina from Alexis Adores has stayed on for a couple nights in the summer. Alright, we're at the next portage. It's kind of a short one. We just met two guys. They, uh, they told us that the one after this is a doozy. So, I'm not totally looking forward to that. Start to rain. So my next portage, apparently the doozy one. Let's see, oh boy, straight downhill, and it's not a good footing either. It's gonna be a fun one to come back on if we do. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Bit of a rock garden into the end of this portage. to the end. One more portage. It's really short. I'm really beginning to hate this canoe. It's uh, big and heavy. And that's so hard on the shoulders and on the knees going downhill. Well, it's raining again. I'm trying to get uh, on shore as quickly as possible and it's covered. Well, we're on the water again. Next up, High Falls. We made it. Yay. Some rules and regulations. So I guess that there must be the water slide that everyone goes down. Looks like a pretty good current. <laughs> Maybe whipping down there, that's for sure. All right, we stopped for lunch and uh, having some uh, pita with some meat in it. Mm. And some uh, pita with peanut butter with a nice view. Okay, Tom's gonna pack up. Um, and he said, go take some pictures, because we're running out of time, and we're going to struggle to get there, like back to camp, before dark. And we also have to get, like, wood and stuff. We don't have any wood left. So I'm going to look around for some places to take pictures, get back in the canoe, and go. <laughs>
is, that's pretty cool. Water is very powerful. It's proven here. It's very beautiful here. And had a bit of a disconnect moment by myself, watching the water, hearing the falls kind of thing. Took some photos and uh, heading back to uh, the canoe. But we're gonna boogie on back to uh, back to camp. So I'll show you what I can, but we gotta get there before dark. I'm lost. <laughs> Off to camp. Well, we picked our pain. I went up through Marie Lake, I think it is. And I mean up. <laughs> oh, up this. A oh, boulder garden. Oh man. Up and up and up we go. Where's the trail? I don't know. Forgot about this one. Darn it. Not looking forward to this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's officially an hour before dark. I think we're halfway through this portage, which is a good thing. We still need to find wood. So, I have to get the headlamps and get back out there. Getting dark. <laughs> oh, hold on to your canoe. <laughs> Just out to uh, get some wood from the fire tonight, and we noticed uh, this may be the remnants of an old forest fire. We're not 100% yet, but it's a possibility. More to come. So, this could be uh, leftover ash that is washed down from up above. It's possible. We're gonna go check it out and see if that's true. Looks like there was definitely a fire here. There was a good line down there by the creek. And looks like it goes back a ways as well.
kind of neat uh, seeing after a burn. Just like all the bushes and the shrubbery and everything growing up. We don't know how old this burn might be, but it'll probably take tens of years, probably a hundred years before it looks back to the way it was before. Um, but all this ash went down into the ground and it's recirculating, so Mother Nature has a plan for it, as she always does. So. But it's really cool to see the cycle of the forest, the cycle of the forest life. Now we're going to get some wood because it's getting dark. <laughs> well, it's a little close to my face, but we got some wood. <laughs> Back to the campsite. Make up some supper. Yay. I made it back before dark. Yeah. Time to get a fire going. Yeah. Unfortunately, no good sunsets this uh, this trip, like at all. It's unfortunate, but oh, well. got lots of wood. Got a, got a fire to be had and uh, some food somewhere. Oh, over there, way over there. <laughs> Doing up some beets here. Cause we need some uh, of the good stuff to recover after that day. And they definitely help with recovery. Okay, we got the beets on the fire. Tom's in the lake right now, over there somewhere. <laughs> um, we got some water that's attempting to be boiled. And we got some sausages here, pre-cooked. And for supper, Annie's mac and cheese. This is the white cheese kind, I believe. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. We're just gonna boil the sausages in with the pasta to cook them even more and kill all the bacteria in them. Success. <laughs> we didn't say this was going to be healthy, did we? <laughs> White cheddar. So good looking. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're done. I gotta say, I've never tried this combination before. Never had any of these three things before, actually. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Very hot. <laughs> Not that it tastes good. It's hot. <laughs> Crispy. Mm-hmm. Good combo. Especially after today. Mm -hmm. How many K did we do today? 16.4. Jeez. <laughs> There's still feathers coming out of my down sleeping bag. I haven't used it enough. Well, today was a good day. We did a lot of kilometers for a couple pictures. <laughs> Uh, it was good to see the uh, the two kilometer portage because there's two ways out of this lake and it was good to see it without all of our equipment kind of thing and lugging it around. So we have a decision to make tomorrow: go to go the long way around or do the portage and uh, just kind of get it over with in one go instead of doing in and out, in and out, in and out on the other way. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was fun. Our bodies don't like us, but <laughs> we got to see some cool views and everything. It's a lot warmer tonight, obviously, which is nice. Uh, last night was pretty chilly. Had some s'mores. We had some uh, hot chocolate. We had a tea. Uh, Heard some weird noises in the woods. Uh, trying to identify some animals and yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow. I don't think this ever gets old. Bacon. Pain or pain? Which which kind of pain do you want? I guess. That's a railroad bed. <laughs> Beautiful here. It's a long way down though, it's crazy.